Good evening everyone and welcome to another video. My name is Natasha and I'm the assistant for Edward Charles. Whenever he is not in our country, I'm the one representing. I'm the one dishing out his words for Jamaicans and all across the world. Okay, I'm the one here trying to put his words out there to help our Jamaicans and people also that are not Jamaicans. So today I will be discussing the requirements for the overseas opportunities, all the requirements that you will be needing except for the farmer program. This one is just for the overseas program like the babysitting, the house sitting, the construction and so on. And even though some of those jobs are yet gone, there are more on our plate. There are lots of jobs exactly like those on our plates. Because people have been saying that, oh my God, um, the all sitting gone and I made it really wanted and made it email and we never get through. People, because you sent an email and you don't get through, that doesn't mean that you won't get through another time okay so today i will be giving out the requirements for those jobs including the remote jobs like call center jobs and so on so jobs is here for everyone people make sure you to subscribe you know because if you don't subscribe you don't have no work forget and hit the notification bell wow i don't know anyway just kidding you know i get work same way Okay, so the requirement for these overseas jobs are you have to have all of these documents should be valid and up to date. Okay, people, they must be valid. So if you know that you have a passport and it's going to expire in a three months time, please go and get your passport started out. Okay, if you know a six month time it's going to start out, go and it's going to um, expire. Sorry, go and get it it sorted out or you can take a job that you know that the extended um working date is like within like a three months or so yeah, you can do that too and then after you come back and you work on your thing okay so the requirements for these jobs are you have to have a valid passport you your passport must be valid your birth certificate your trn your nis you need an update resume an updated cv curriculum vitae so again, you need your TRN, your passport, your NIS, and your birth certificates, your resume, and a CV. All of these are what is required to start your processing. But before you start your processing, people, you have to register. And to register, you're going to pay a fee of 1500 jamaican dollars at any jn bank island wide you can do it online if you want to or you can just walk into the bank and you pay your registration fee as soon as you pay your fee you take a picture of that receipt that you have received and you send it to us here at pretty and fat and we will email you and all the um i'm sorry we will email to you all the documents that you will be needing pertaining to the job that you wish to go about so say you have paid your registration fee one thousand five hundred dollars right after you pay, you take the picture and you send it to us. Then, um, you know that you have to send to us the, um, 
the copy of your passport, your TR and your NIS, your birth certificate, your resume and your CV and people, please me a big one. You see when I'm not taking the pictures, please make sure that you take the picture clearly. Don't take it that it look foggy or that you stay one mile and take the picture so we have to be zooming in and all of that. No, you have to take it. Make it look professional. Because we don't have time for that. We don't have time to be zooming in and I try to figure out if that a A, wonder if that a, wonder if I want Z that, wonder which, which number that. You have to make sure that the pictures are taken clearly so people can see. Okay, so you take them and you send them to us. So for the remote jobs also, you have to pay $1,500 to register. You do not pay for the farm work program because that program is from the government. That is with the Ministry of Labor. Now, the overseas job opportunities is a private firm business so it's two different business in one so one you pay and the other you don't pay because one is from the government and one is from private okay so what am i leaving out okay so persons want to know if if there is any chance that they might not be accepted after they have paid the registration fee if you have registered and you have not accept been accepted for a job you have been turned down it's they want to know what what could cause that well the cause could be that um, you did not do well in your interview or you have a bad police record yeah so that could set you back, but still you do because you are registered, you have a chance of going after something else. You may not have luck with puss, but you can, can have luck with dog. You understand, people? <coughs> Sorry. So if you don't have luck with one, you have me have luck with a hazard. But people, if you want good in, was after run, so you have to keep trying. Okay? The jobs are here. It's just for you to grab them. You have to have what it takes to get through. And some people may say, all them say that you don't need no experience. For the remote jobs, you don't. Some of them, some of them you don't need. Some of them does not require any experience. They are work from home. You just go and we send you the link. Of what to do and just sign up with the company and they'll run some tests maybe maybe them give you a few tests to do online and if them accept you them accept you they don't need to go and do no no um interview or sit down in no interview because i know most people are nervous when it come when it comes to um interviews so for the remote jobs some of them does not require any interviews but you cannot expect to say all right me i go fine go work and you expect that people are going to take you in at them place without any interview no they have to have some something they have to know something about you so they're going to question you is just for you to be polite and not nervous and know say all right me go mash up that interview here and know that you have a clean police record also and and, and i've told people before having a, a police record some people think that because they say you should have a clean once your name once you never go station and police never take your fingerprint your record clean there's nothing to say about you okay so you don't have to worry yourself so and for all those who have been saying oh we've been 
emailing you and not getting through to you and this seems like it's a joke thing or this is a scam people you have to be patient I know as you go and knock you will get answer all the time you know sometimes you come you knock you get answer sometimes you knock for days you know get no answer but still the door will be open it will always be open and we will we will reply to your emails maybe not today or tomorrow but if even the other day we will reply to you but we have so many emails and it's not a lot of us working here it's not a lot it's two of us reading emails only two of us so people i hope that you all understand and you have a clear understanding now and i hope you have your papers and stuff ready and remember i said it when you do send us your um your required documents those are not going to be all the required documents that you will be needing you will be needing you have to have work permit and so for some of these jobs especially the ones in america and like in canada and so on or the uk but for bahamas and so you know those country does not require a visa but you do need a work permit so if you want help with your work permit we my boss not gonna say be but my boss yeah he, he does help people with their work permit or a visa if you need a visa he can help you with that so that is it guys i hope that you all have a clear understanding of what you'll be needing and i will be posting another video very soon if not tonight tomorrow about the um yeah i'm gonna post, be posting some more jobs that is still available because as i told you guys there are tons of jobs here available for you people there are tons of jobs yeah it's i just hope that most of you are I'm not going to say anything else. Okay, so that is it. Good night, people.